Okay, hi there everybody and welcome to what's going to be an updated version on how to add a music MP3 player to a Facebook fan page. If you if you can hear any any birds in the background, um, incidentally, it's because we've got a few budgies in a cage behind me and I can't do too much to quieten them, but hopefully we'll try and um, edit as much of their noise out as possible. Now, this is just basically an update to the version that I've already got on YouTube. Um, a few people have asked me for uh, several questions on it regarding the, the coding and how I put the tracks on it, etc. Um, so I'm just going to sort of basically update it for you the best that I can and hopefully it'll make it a little bit clearer um, for you. What I've done, I've opened up an old Facebook test page. So I'll show you from scratch how we're going to do it, how we're going to get this MP3 player in place and how to add tracks to it as well. Um, if you haven't seen it, the best way to visit the page if you haven't seen it is, is to go over and visit my fan page. Um, if you just put in facebook.com forward slash thumbs up fan pages all in one word and then go to the side tabs and you'll see a side tab that says, or an overhead tab even now, I've got one overhead tab as well, that says the music player, click on it and you'll see it fully functioning. And it's what I've done, I've just basically put most of the tracks from one of the recent Now albums onto there for you. I've got all um, all 20 tracks on there for you. So it's it's fully operational, fully functional. You can't hear it properly because I've got the headset on. Um, and the best way is to jump over to Thumbs Up Fan Pages, have a look, and you'll see it in operation. Now, to get this on there, what you need to do, what I've, done, I've just opened up another tab for an old um, an old fan page. Um, an old test page that I wasn't using anymore. So to start from scratch, a few people said to me, where do you get the coding from? Where do you put the coding and where do you get the app from? All you need to do, you basically need to add um, what's an HTML app into your fan page. And the quickest way to do it, um, if you go up into the Facebook search bar at the top, if you just type the word static, um, you're going to see straight away Quite a few of them come up. There's all different ones. Um, if you just, we'll just use this one. <clears throat> they all, all pretty much work the same way. Some are better than others. Um, so you just click on that one that you see there. There are other ones that you can use. Um, some people may prefer other ones, but and then you just come down to the bottom, installed page tab. Okay. <clears throat> What it will then should do is should take you and it should give you a selection like this. If you've got several pages, it will ask you to choose which page you want it to add it to. If it's, you've only got the one page, then it'll obviously give you the one selection. Um, so I was using this one here, the misgoverned test page. And it is just allow the, allow the app. Okay, and then what you will have on the side as you can see down the bottom here, you'll have a welcome tab. Okay. And that will basically be your HTML coding um, tab. Um, you can rename this if you wish to. Um, I'll do that for you now. If you go up to the top here, go on to Edit Info. Go on to the side where you've got apps. Click on the apps. And you find the static iframe tab, you just um, just installed, click on edit settings and if I was to put in here um, a music player and save that, that should be okay, go back and view the page and what's happened down here as you can see it's now changed to music player is to click on that tab now, obviously nothing's there at the moment but what it should present you with is as you can see an area to load your coding into and I said most of the apps work in pretty much the same way um, so you'll get some sort of HTML coding area All right, and now with that in place what we need to do is go and get the coding and where you need to jump over to you need to jump over to pimpmyprofile.com and it's the full address is here flash mp3 player I will include that link in the description. I mean, if you, if you can't get access to that for any reason, if you just Google Pimp, Google Pimp My Profile, and then just put Flash Player on the end of it, or something like that, um, 
you'll find this Flash MP3 player. And as you can see, that's the, the picture of the one that we've got on the fan page. And here you can enter up to 20 tracks. Now what they must be, they must be an MP3 track, okay? They have to be an MP3 track. You can't put any sort of uh, WAV files or anything else like that. We will only accept and we will only play MP3 files. Um, so for all your tracks that you're going to put on, you do need them to be in MP3 format. Now you can either um, get hold of um, a file and upload it to a free hosting site and then they'll give you a download um, a download link or a hosting URL for the mp3 file because uh, it will need to be hosted to be played as well um, so the easiest way is to either use uh, something like Mediafire or one of the other free hostings or failing that if you've got a website or a blog or anything like that it's even easier just upload it to your website or blog grab the URL and put it in okay um, I'll show you how to do that if you don't have it um, if you, you'll need a file transfer client such as this one the FileZilla is excellent and it's free as well um, if, you, if, you've, if you think that websites to own or buy are pretty expensive they're not especially if you just want to use a site or a website just for, purely for hosting pictures uh, music files, whatever. Jump over to somewhere like GoDaddy, um, one of the web hosting providers, and get. Um, just look for a .info website, and you can pick them up for really, really cheap. Um, over here in the UK, I've picked up for one for less than a pound, and I think um, if you're in the United States, they're you know they're um, they're literally a couple of dollars or something like that. It's very, very cheap. And just get yourself some cheap hosting, sort of HostGator or something like that. Will do you unlimited hosting for um, something like nine nine dollars a month, which works out five or six pound a month. So it's 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 very very cheap to do, and it's much much easier because it's all your own hosting. <clears throat> so what I've done here, I, I've got a site that I was going to do something with, which, which I never did do, and that is a dot info site, as I said to you about. I've just grabbed a um, an old Michael Jackson track. And what you would do then, once you've got your um, website in place to load up, or this could be your free media fire hosting site or whatever, you just need to upload the track. So you, I would just click on upload this. I'm not going to go through into the details of how to do this, because um, this would be a sort of separate video, um, but you can look into it. Okay, and then once you've uploaded it, <coughs> into here okay it's obviously going to come I've, I've put it into a into a file and then what you would do then as you can see it's here if we um, copy the URL to the clipboard and if I was to paste that in there uh, let's have a look let's, let's go to the beginning of it one second uh, I'm only going to need this bit here. Okay, as you can see, I've just <coughs> that is basically my MP3 file. Yeah, um, all I do is upload it, so it'll be exactly the same way. I'm not going to, I'm not going to download that. Um, but all I would need then, then to do be here would be to take that, copy that URL and paste it into here um, the first one okay which would be the Michael Jackson one and then I will just put the title and artist in here um, I'm just going to put quickly care about us okay and then you have to do the same obviously for all for all 20 so it's a little bit time consuming um, but you get there in the end and it can be quite quick. Once you've got them all uploaded um, into one place, it's, it's much, much quicker, which is why I think it's a lot faster if you've got your own hosting, your own site, um, but you still can do it with the free hosting sites as well. Okay, you put them all in, and then 
once you've got that you can generate the code. What I will jump onto while I'm here is something which I often do because you may want to upload um, lots and lots of tracks, lots and lots of albums and there is a way around that. Um, if you go onto Google and if you type in merge mp3 and this is the one you're sort of looking for, it's normally on the download scene now. Um, it's, I won't go into too much detail because it's very very basic to use um, let me just call it up for you let's just search for it here merge mp3 one second I'll just get it onto the screen for you uh, no I don't want to upgrade, thank you right. and this is very very, again this is almost idiot proof this software um, you can basically put everything, all the if you get a load of multiple tracks, you can list them all, open up a file, list them all down, and it will create one one single um, MP3 file for you. Now the beauty of this is, um, if you had say several albums, let's say you had a Now album, and you had a I don't know, Michael Jackson album, and you had a um, you know, an Eminem album or whatever it is. Yeah, I'm sure you get the picture. You could put all your albums here. You could go to the M merge MP3 um, because obviously when an al you get an album together, they all they all consist of. Say you get a 15 track album, they are 15 individual MP3 files, and you just like, you can pretty much only get room for sort of one album on here. But if you go onto the merge MP3 and put those 15 files and merge them into one single MP3 file, you can enlist the album. Of course, once it's on the actual player. What you won't be able to do is to sort of skip through the tracks like we have here because it would just be just an album. So you might have, say, the Now album here, the Michael Jackson album here, the Eminem album here, whatever. Um, but it will give you the facility to um, have 20 albums instead of 20 tracks. I think it's worth considering. It's entirely up to you. So once you've got all your... Um, once you've got all your tracks on there and you're happy with it, uh, you need to generate the code. Uh, this bit here, should the player start on page load? Now I will say no, mainly because Facebook have got very, very strict policies and guidelines on autoplay media. Um, and they can shut your page down without warning if they find you autoplay. So safeguard yourself, just put no should the player start on page load and generate the code. Okay. And what it will come up. <coughs> Obviously you'd have all your tracks here, and as you can see it lists the tracks on the player that you put on there. And then all you need to do is click on that, highlight the code, press copy. Okay, then you jump over to your HTML source here, and paste it in. It really is as simple as that. Now if you want to get rid of the advert that they have down the bottom, okay, you just get rid of the get rid of this bottom line of code here because basically the, the player once it's on if you don't remove it will have a a link here advertising their mp3 player and if you're quite happy with that just leave it on there but if you want to get rid of it um, just um, on the beginning of H A H ref here just grab that and ex <coughs> exit off okay and then the rest of it what you can do is save the settings and once it's saved if you view the tab as you can see your player is in place and it really really is as simple as that now there's no more point in playing it because you're not going to hear anything because it's through my headset um, but if you let's see, if you jump over to my fan page thumbs up fan pages you will see the music player there you'll see it on the tab and you'll see that I have loaded 20 tracks on to it and all I did it did exactly the same way as what I just showed you. So I hope this clears up any more uh, questions. I hope this makes it a little bit easier to follow. Uh, please leave any questions or comments below and I'll answer them um, as quickly as I possibly can. And if you want full information and full free training on how to create a fan page, jump over to um, Thumbs Up Fan Pages where you can subscribe for free and you will see free training videos instantly into your email inbox so thanks for watching look out for some more updated videos and i'll speak to you again soon thank you very much